Hello students I hope you all are fit and fine and doing very well in your studies I also hope that you have done your PT2 examination very very well Now my dear student it's time to again start our science class So today we are going to start our chapter number 4 that is sorting material into groups This chapter is very very important as well as very very interesting also So you all are most welcome in this science class. Let's start our chapter number 4 sorting material into groups. Let's proceed the chapter. Hello students, let's start our chapter number 4 that is sorting material into groups. So before we discuss about the chapter, let's clear the meaning of the chapter. so sorting what is the meaning of sorting sorting means to classify and material means the matter from which a thing is made what is matter matter means anything which has mass and occupies a space that is called matter so it means that there are many objects around us with different shape colors properties and uses they can be made up of one or more materials so students the process of placing or keeping similar things together is called grouping to jab ek jaisi cheezon ko jab similar cheezon ko hum ek sath ek group mein rakhte hain to isko hum kehte hain grouping grouping means what we are just classifying when we put things into a group we classify them arranging things into group on the basis of their characteristic is called classification so things are classified based on their characteristic so in this chapter we are going to read about the characteristic of different objects on the basis of which we classify them now in this chapter we are going to read about object so student question is that why is it necessary to sort materials into group now answer is we will get all similar type of material at one place and second thing is that it make us convenient to study their properties so in this way we can better know about the different type of objects which are present around us so similar things are arranged together thus we can easily find the things so it means that there is a need to group objects the process of sorting and grouping objects according to some basis is called classification so let's move toward next topic students let's talk about objects around us we see a variety of objects around us all of them are not same So my dear students there are different objects present in our surroundings and all they are different from each other their physical state and features vary from object to object so students their physical state is also different from each other it means some are solid some are liquid and some are in the form of gases also and their characteristic or features is also different all these objects are used for different purposes at different times so students we use all these objects according to our need so different objects as we need you uh, we use at different times now student all objects which are present around us they have different shape also if we will take example of book so book is an example of object and book book is rectangular in shape now ball ball is round in shape bottles are cylindrical in shape so different objects they have different shapes and we can also group according to their shape also it means that objects or things can be grouped according to their shape also now we know that all things around us are made up of materials so they may be made up of one or more materials some common materials are wood 
metal, glass, plastic, cotton, synthetic fiber, jute paper, clay, cement, etc. If uh, we will take example of uh, uh, paper as a material, so paper is used to make books, copies, paper board, paper cups. So paper cup and uh, uh, paper board, books, copies, these are example of object. Okay. And paper is example of material because material is used to make all these things. So I hope it is clear to you. Students, now it is clear to you that things around us are made up of different materials. Some are made up of metals, some are made up of plastics and some are of any other materials like paper, wood etc. One particular material can be used to make many things. Example, metals can be used to make utensils, wires, jewelries, aeroplane etc. Now, different object like silver spoon, nail, coin, iron paper clip, safety pins, gold rings, steel ruler, needle. These items are made up of different metals and a mixture of metals and non-metals. So, we know that one particular object can be made from different materials. So, it is clear to you that objects can be grouped in many different ways and one material can be used to make different objects. Students, let's see these two beakers. We know that one particular object can be made from different materials. Look at these beakers. One is made up of plastic whereas another is made of glass. Both are used for different purposes. Plastic beaker is not easily breakable but it cannot be used to heat any material. We use the glass beaker to heat any substance. So I hope about objects and material clear to you people. So students, it is a time to define object. Object refers to anything that can be seen or whose presence can be felt around us. Example, car, toys, utensils. Students, let's know about the meaning of material also. Material refers to the matter. Matter means anything which has occupies space and has mass. So, material refers to the matter from which a thing is made. Example, metals, plastics, paper, wood, etc. So, basically objects are made up of material and one material can be used to make many objects. So, I hope that the meaning of material is clear to you people. So students, that's all for today's class. In next video, we will learn about the next topic of this chapter. So your homework is that you have to read chapter at least two to three times. And if you have any doubt regarding any topic which I taught you in this video, please you can call me or you just write in group also. Till that, you have to use mask and sanitizer and you have to also maintain social distancing to keep yourself free from any kind of infection. Thanks for watching this video.